to this video. In the previous video, we learnt and understood about the area of a segment. Today, in this video, we will study about the areas of combinations of plane figures. Here, you are given some plane figures. Can you find the area of all these? Yes, we can find the area of these figures with the help of their formula. You all must have seen many figures around you such as the design of windows, table covers, design of doors, gardens, etc. All these figures are composed of a combination of plane figures. Let's see some similar examples of plane figures. If the length of the rectangular portion of the window shown in the picture is 8 feet and the width is 6 feet, then can you find the total area of the window? Come on, let's discuss on this. First, let's make a rough figure of the window which looks like this. Looking at the window carefully, we can say that the upper portion of the window is semicircular and the lower portion is rectangular. Where the length of the rectangular portion is 8 feet and the width is 6 feet. So, substituting the value of the length and the width in the formula for the area of a rectangle, on solving, the area of the rectangular portion is obtained as 48 square feet. Since we have to find the area of the whole window, we will have to find the area of the upper portion of the window, that is, the semicircle. Can you tell what will be the area of the semicircle? Absolutely correct. Its area is equal to 1 by 2 pi r square. But if we do not know the value of r, that is, the radius here, so let's first find the value of r for this. Observing at the shape of the window carefully, we can find that the diameter of the semicircle represents the width of the window. And we know that the diameter is twice the radius. For which we can say that the radius of the circle will be 3 feet. Hence, placing the value of r in the formula for finding the area of a semicircle and solving, we obtain the area of the semicircle, that is, the area of the upper portion of the window, which is 14.14 square feet. If we add the areas of these two figures, then we get the total area of these as 62.14 square feet. From this, we can say that the total area of the window is 62.14 square feet. Today, in this video, we found the area of a figure made by the combination of plane figures. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples based on this.